Hey Cancer. Okay, um, so we are doing your May 2018 reading. So let's see what's going on with you guys. May 2018. If this does not resonate with you, uh, Cancer, please check your moon and rising sign. I always say if you're more egotistical, if you're more ego driven, I'm sorry, <laughs> um, check your sun. Your sun is probably going to resonate more. If you're more of a spiritual person, check your moon. That's probably going to resonate more. Okay. So the strength card wanted to pop out, so I feel like um, this month is going to require you guys to have some strength, some courage, um, taming yourself a little bit, maybe having some situations where you have to harness your strength a little bit this month, okay? That card flew out out of nowhere. All right, let's see what's going on. Cancers. Um, okay. Okay, so, um, the overall energy for the month for you guys is going to be the Five of Swords, Cancers. So I feel like the energy for this month as of right now is going to be like a lot of mental conflict. I feel like it's it's more so like really petty, a lot of petty arguments, pride, winning, winning for the sake of winning, I feel like. So it's kind of just like arguments where you're wasting your energy, wasting your time. I feel like that's, as for right now, that's energy that you are, you are conveying to me. That's what I'm getting. That's what the cards are picking up here. Okay, so coming into leaving April, you were dealing with a karmic situation, Cancer, I feel like. Because I have the um, I have my little contract card here. And this is your transitioning energy from April. And this contract card tells me this is a contract. This is a soulmate connection, twin flame. This is a karmic situation. So whenever you have a contract, you have to uphold that contract. You can't just bail on the contract when it gets when you when you're done and when you um you know you no longer want the situation. So this is something that you had to deal with as far as uh, your destiny is a karmic um, energetic. So this is a situation that what you really couldn't avoid because you had unfinished business. I feel like you were dealing a lot with that a lot. I feel like you were dealing um, with a lot of unfinished business in April. And... And then, let's see, let me pull some more cards here. I'm sorry, Cancer. I'm trying to get your spread together. All right. So, like I said, coming last, um, in April, you had to deal, you were dealing with a karmic situation, a relationship. Maybe this was a soulmate connection, twin flame connection, or a karmic situation um, that was supposed to teach you something about your shadow self. So, I thought like you were dealing a lot with that. Um, in April, you were dealing with a karmic situation, maybe getting out of a karmic situation. Maybe there was a lot of conflict, petty arguments, pride, egotism. So I feel like you're, I feel like um, this is the energy that you're, you're coming in with, um, you're bringing in with you from April, okay? Um, because the first week of April, you have the high priest, high priestess. And I feel like the first week of April, you're really going to, um, you're really going to be following your intuition. The high priest is someone to me is, this is someone who just knows. You don't have to tell them much of anything. They just know. They don't, they don't have to, they kind of move in silence. But the high priest is like, she has enough knowledge and intuition and, and enough experience. She just knows. Things just come to her. She doesn't have to study. You don't have to tell her what's going on. She just knows. And I feel like the first week of, um, May cancers, you just know, like, 
something your intuition is nudging you the universe is nudging you like you know what something is not right here your intuition is telling you um that a situation is not right or something isn't right something isn't sitting well with you in the first week of may and i see that you're transitioning energy you go from a two mm -hmm, to a three so i see that you're transitioning energy from the first week to the second week is the three of cups and I feel like the first week of May, Cancers, I feel like there's something that you're going to find out regarding the karmic situation that um, it's going to lead you to believe that you were a part of a third party situation. I feel like you're, you're realizing this coming into May. maybe at, Or maybe you already realized this at the end of April. You realized that um, you and your karmic partner were in the love triangle. Maybe you were the third party or they were the third party. Okay. And, and I feel like the second, because the second week going into, I really feel like you have, I really feel like cancer, you have to follow your intuition on the first week. Okay. Because you are dealing with a karmic situation and there's something to learn here. You're not just in this situation just to be in it. Like you want to make sure you learn the lessons you have to learn. So you don't keep repeating the same, the, keep, keep repeating the same thing over and over again. Because I feel like going into the second week of May, you have the judgment in reverse. I feel like this is this is you refusing to see the situation for what it is. Your 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 just your your judgment is off. Your discernment is off, and I I feel like you're kind of second guessing your intuition here going into the second week of May. I feel like you're second guessing your intuition about this third party situation. I feel like you're having issues uh, letting go or breaking free from a karmic situation and I feel like your judgment is off a lot I really think I really feel like you need to meditate um so you can see the situation for what it is I feel like you know what's going on but I feel like you're fighting yourself I feel like you're second guessing yourself you're like um you know is this really what's going on or is this, is this my intuition or is this just me being paranoid listen to your intuition I feel like you know and I feel like I feel like you second guessing yourself is causing you to make is causing you to have bad judgment. It's clouding your judgment. I feel like you know what's going on. Like you know, like you know in your spirit, like what the hell is going on, but you're like second guessing it. No, you know what's going on. Okay. So going transitioning into your transitioning energy into the third week is going to be the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like you're dealing with someone cancer. This could be your energy. You're dealing with someone who's not very nurturing, not very caring. Um, I feel like this could be you as well. Um, this is like, I, this, and I feel like this has to do a lot with the strength. I feel like you're having, a, I feel like you're in a situation where you feel kind of trapped. You don't really know what to do. And um, this could be a, a situation with your money, with your job, um, Maybe you're in a job where you hate or you're trapped at a job you don't know how to get out of or you're at a job where they're not paying you what you're worth and you're kind of you're feeling like you're worried about your money, you're worried about um, you know, your finances a little bit. Or you could be just dealing with someone who is just not the most nurturing, someone who is um very greedy, very manipulative, um very materialistic as well. Um I mean, this is this is the Libra card. Um I say Taurus too, but you could be dealing with someone who, who is very um, like materialistic, egotistical, you know what I mean? Someone who is not financially secure. This could just be you going into um, the third week, you're transitioning energy. Maybe you're having some financial issues here, something going on with your job. And you see the acorns um, here? There's seven acorns representing strength, but this is in the reverse. So I feel like going into the third week of May, um, Cancers, I feel like you're feeling a little bit discouraged. Especially as far as your finances go or someone that you're dealing with. I feel like, I feel like you're feeling very discouraged um, about this person. Because going into the third week, that's your transitioning energy, you know, with the, the Queen of Cups. And going to the third week, you have the Six of Cups in reverse. So I feel like you were living in the past. I feel like this is like you, you really not wanting to share. You're not wanting to share your cups, not wanting to share your love or, um, let's see.
And I also feel like this, this um, what you, who you're dealing with right now, this is not someone that you've dealt with before. I feel like this is not someone from your past. This is someone new. This is not your um, your twin flame. This could be the situation that you're dealing with, this karmic situation. This could be someone outside of your twin flame, um, a karmic relationship. Maybe this is someone that you were in a third party relationship with, or this is someone you're dealing with who's in a third party situation, but this is not someone that you have dealt with before. Maybe someone new. Um, I feel like in the third week of April, you're 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 kind of very nostalgic, and I feel like cancers. I feel like you're. I feel like you're in the third week of May. I feel like you're really imbalanced about the past, like you know your feelings about the past. Uh, you've been you're, you're very nostalgic in the third third uh, week of May. You're thinking about someone from your past. And I feel like it has you out of balance. It, you know, it has you, um, you know, you're, you're kind of, everything is off, okay? Because you have the Tempest card in reverse here transitioning to, into the last uh, week of May. I feel like everything is off with you regarding something from your past. I feel like you're very nostalgic. Um, I feel like you're still heavily living in the past and thinking about someone from your past. And this has you um, in balance emotionally, spiritually, energetically, um, it kind of just has you all over the place and just like going into the last week of May here we have the chariot so you're there's a little bit of stagnation a little bit of delays um you know I feel like you know like you're not I feel like this person maybe in the last week of May someone from your past a karmic situation or a soulmate I feel like you know it's not moving forward in the way you wanted it to Okay, this is and this is just as of right now, um, Cancer. This energy can change at any time because we have the. This is your card. This is your card, Cancer, in the reverse. So this is this is someone who's stagnant. This is someone who's not moving forward. This is someone who's not making moves. This is someone who's stuck. Okay, and I feel like this is this is in regard to someone something from your past, a past situation. You are really in balance going into the last week of May. Like you, something about your finances change. Because you made a bad judgment call in the beginning of the month. I feel like I feel like this has a lot to do with this karmic situation. If you have not left this karmic situation, you need to. Because I feel like I feel like you want to leave the karmic situation, but I feel like you don't know how. I feel like you're stuck. Like I feel like you're afraid of following your intuition. Like you're in, it's evident. It's there. It's right in your face. But I feel like you're afraid to follow this. And I don't know why. I'm I'm not I don't know. Here, I'm gonna get. A, I'm gonna clarify this uh, Queen of Pentacles in reverse and this uh, Six of Cups in reverse. Okay, going your third week of May here. I want to see why this is your transitioning energy going into the third week. Um, why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed here for Cancer? Okay, so I see Cancer. I see that you might be dealing with a younger fire sign, a fire sign that's younger than you, or a child. Um, so I feel like going into the third, going into the third week of May, you may be dealing, you may have to pay off some type of finances regarding your children, your child, um, a fire sign child, or you might be dealing with just a fire sign that's very, very immature, that's very flighty, very in and out, very inconsistent. Okay, or this, like, and I feel like this person is affecting your money. Maybe you're giving them money. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe you have to pay child support, or you're, you're, so, you are, you are. Um, taking care of this person financially. And I feel like uh, going into the third week of May here, um, like you're tired of, you're like, you know, I'm, I don't want to, it's really affecting your finances a lot. And I feel like this person, I feel like this, this person is not only immature and flighty and inconsistent in and out, hot and cold. I feel like too, they're also, they're also kind of selfish and materialistic and greedy. I kind of feel like, um, I feel like they don't really treat you the best, okay? This could be, it doesn't matter if this is your child or this is someone that you're involved with, Cancer. I feel like this person um, that you're involved with is not the, they don't treat you the, the nicest, okay? Why is the Six of Cups in reverse for Cancers? Oh my gosh, Cancer, here's your card again. Really? So the Six, the six of Cups, the third week of May, you have the Six of Cups and you have the Chariot. So I feel like you're moving on from the past. You're moving on from this. You are moving on from this, but I feel like 
you know, I feel like in the third week of May, you're wanting to move on from it. You're like, okay, like, you know, this person's taking my money. I'm tired of supporting this person financially. This person's immature. They don't care about me. They're just using me. And then, you know, going into the third week of May, you're like, you know what? I'm moving on from the past. I'm done. I'm done with this relationship. I'm done with this person. But then you kind of get off balance there. You kind of start second guessing yourself going into the, uh, the fourth week of May and you, you, you become stagnant. Like, you don't, you know what I mean? Let's see why the chariot is reversed here for the last week of May. Why is the chariot reversed for Cancer? So you have the chariot here twice. So I feel like, I feel like Cancer, you're wanting to move on from a situation, but you don't know how to do it. Okay, so we have the world and the seven of cups. That's what, I, that's what I mean. I feel like you want to move on from a situation, Cancer, but you don't really know how to do so. And I feel like this is, this is definitely a karmic situation. But I feel like the situation is going to come to a close because you have the world card here. This is a, a major arcana. This is, this is um, the universe stepping in and closing. So I feel like the situation is going to have closure. And I, or I feel, like, I feel like you can't move on from the situation yet because you don't have closure yet. There's, like, there's still something there that you're wondering. You know, you're, still, you're still confused about something here. And I feel like that's why at the end of May, you, it, it's hard for you to move on from a situation because you, you don't have closure and you're still confused. You don't know what to do. You don't know how to get out of the situation, I feel like. Okay. So let, let's, see what, let's see what advice... Let's see what guidance they have for you guys. Because I feel like this is, you guys are in a very, very sticky situation here. Like, you want to move forward. You know this is not right for you. You know you deserve better. But I feel like the situation, like, I feel like you're kind of stuck in the situation. Like, maybe it's financial. Maybe this person is uh, taking care of you financially. Maybe you're living with this person. Or, they live, or they're living with you. And you're trying to figure out how to close the cycle, how to get out of this. Um, but I do feel like the answer is going to come to you. But I, I also feel like... Um, yeah, I feel like at the end of May, the answer is going to come to you. The cycle is going to be closed. It's going to be the end, ending of a cycle. Um, it might leave you a little bit confused. Okay. You might be a little bit confused about this. Um, but I say what, you know, whatever, what the hell, if you're confused about it, like whatever, you can get the answers later. Pray to the gods, like just move on, especially if the situation is inconveniencing you inconveniencing your funds, inconveniencing you, like not making you happy. Like if it's a situation that you're dealing with uh, regarding this younger fire sign or um, someone with this energy, someone who's in and out, flighty, inconsistent, rash, you know, they rush into things. Um, very passionate though. This, um, this also could be like one of those relationships where it's all about sex and money. Very, very toxic, egotistical relationship right there. Okay, so um, your lesson for this month, as I thought, is endings and beginnings. The old must be released so that the new can enter. Okay, Cancer? So for May, like I said, I feel like you want to release a situation that's toxic, a karmic situation with a soulmate. I don't think it's a soulmate, though. I think it's just a karmic. I feel like you. I feel like this is someone outside of your twin flame. I don't feel like this is your twin flame. I feel like this is someone else, someone else that you're dealing with. I feel like you want to release the situation because you know what's bad for you. Like your intuition is saying, you, I, I need to get out of the situation. Um, cause I still, but I feel like you don't really know how to do that, you know. But I feel like you will figure it out, though. I feel like by the end of May, you know, like before that, I feel like like the second week of May, you're going to be like, you know what? I feel like something something drastic is gonna happen where you're gonna realize like you have to walk away from this. Maybe maybe this video will help you realize you have to walk away from the situation. It's uh it's very very toxic, okay. And um, this situation is causing is putting you in this energy. It's putting you in this energy of the queen of the queen of pentacles in reverse, like very selfish, greedy, egotistical. Um, you know, you know. Um, not paying back your debts, all to, all kind of things, you know. So I feel like you have to realize that something is not good for you, so you can walk away into some. You can walk towards something better, and I know I know you want something better. I know you do. I know you want something better. I, I feel like you're wishing and praying for something better. I feel like you're wishing and praying for the situation to be over with. Like, why am I still in this situation? Why hasn't this ended yet? Why can I get out of this? Okay, Cancer. 
but it's gonna get better, okay? You gotta release some things, you gotta let some things go first so it can get better for you, okay? So I hope this helps you guys, thank you so much.